We've been following for the last several days. Neighbors nervous about the fate of a home on Portland's famous Peacock Lane. They're fighting to protect a recently sold home from demolition, and they're worried that the interested developer is not telling the whole story. So our Emily Sinovic joins us live now from Peacock Lane. What'd you find out, Emily? Well, I know that neighbors around here, they're really anxious because they were supposed to meet with the developer today. That meeting got postponed until next Tuesday, and they don't feel like they really have all the answers. They're worried that demolition of this home could happen. What a great place to raise kids, the Christmas street. Ted Brockwood's lived on Peacock Lane with his family for more than a decade, just a couple blocks from the neighbors who lived here. They were the longest standing residents of the lane. But the elderly widow sold the home after Christmas. It moved really fast. It was, we heard that there was a developer, and so right away, you know, being Portland, everybody gets nervous. I checked with Everett Custom Homes. The developer tells me they are interested in splitting the property into the two original smaller lots. But neighbors are anxious. We've looked at the track record of the people behind the property purchase and the property development. Looking at the pictures online, to me, it seemed like those were solid houses with good bones, as my mother-in-law likes to call them. Uh, so why were they demolished? Skewing the truth to benefit a sale. Mary Mather Slack is a realtor who says it happened to her clients last year. Told us that their intention was to rehab the property and create a lovely place for someone else to move into, which spoke to my seller's heart. But within two months, she says the property ended up in the hands of a developer. They were betrayed. They felt betrayed. Who did this? And what happened was they leveled it. It's now a, a pile of rubble. The developers are driving it. I mean, people wanting to make money. It's money is driving it. it who, is there one demon? I don't think there is. But the out and out lying to in the course of presenting an offer and presenting your buyer as a bona fide buyer. It doesn't, I mean, I don't know how to hook everybody up to a lie detector, but it's, it's really scary to watch what's happening in our city. She says it's happening all over the city, all of the time now. So she doesn't blame neighbors on Peacock Lane for wanting some answers about what's next for this home. Why would you change it? Why would you change a piece of the heart of Portland? So the owner of Everett Homes declined our request for an interview, but he did respond in an email statement. Vic Remmers wrote the following, quote, the previous owners were 100% in the loop. We had to disclose this in the sale and actually paid a premium for being a business as opposed to a resident. He went on to say, I want to be very clear that Eden, the home buyer is a separate entity from Everett in every sense of the word. We are in no way using Eden as a front for our own business and have no intention of doing anything to the house on their property. He also told me he has every intention of meeting with neighbors here on Peacock Lane next Tuesday and has every intention of being 100% transparent. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, I'm Emily Sinovic, Coin 6 News. Okay, well